I would sort of pretend to be unclear about that to, to gauge whether anyone else thought that was a good idea. And then gradually it was like, occasionally it would be suggested that someone else, you know, like, oh, maybe so-and-so would play that part. And I would just find myself being like, oh, no, that I'm, I'm playing that part. <laughs> you know, which you kind of, I mean, with a first-time movie, given that no one knows who the hell I am, it actually became like a certain amount of work to guard that. It's funny because I, you know, I had in my head for a while like that I would make a movie and then one day I was in, I was visiting Chicago and I got on the train. It was just like a 20 minute train ride. And as while I was on there, I had thought of like maybe five of the storylines all just in a row. And by the time I got off the train, I was like, I have a movie. Like, it was so exciting. And then from there, I just kept jumping, you know, from this imagined family to these other people. And then over the next, you know, whatever months, years of writing, I just sort of began to trust that if I was having an idea, you know, if these two teenage girls were coming into my mind that they too were part of the story and that I would find, you know, almost like like a detective, that I would find out how they were all related. Um, I guess it's, you know, the other things that I do, um, they're kind of like all, you know, elements that come together in movies and they're not sort of better or worse, but movies are the one, I guess, that has sort of the biggest impact on the culture. I mean, there's sort of no way around that, that like a performance I do, it, you know, it may mean a tremendous amount to me and everyone in the room that night, but um, there's just something kind of undeniably powerful about um, the reach you can have with movies.